Compared to the First World War, the Second World War saw fewer winners of the Victoria Cross. 181 men were awarded 182 VC medals, with one New Zealander winning it twice. And amongst those 181 are a number of Scots, but it might be that you don't know their stories. So here, in no particular order, are 10 Second World War Scottish VCs you may not know. Number 1. John Cruikshank OK, so we did say you might not know about them, and you might well know John Cruikshank. But at the time of recording, he's the world's only surviving Second World War VC, and the only living Scottish recipient, so we couldn't leave him out. Cruikshank was the pilot of a Catalina flying boat which in 1944 sunk a German U-boat. With extremely accurate anti-aircraft fire from the U-boat, the Catalina had suffered the death of its navigator, and four others were wounded, including Cruikshank, who'd been hit in an incredible 72 places. Despite his injuries, he refused morphine, knowing it would cloud his judgement, and successfully managed the five and a half hour journey home to his airbase in Shetland. Number 2. Hugh Malcolm Malcolm had joined the RAF in 1936, and by 1942 he was flying Blenheim bombers in North Africa. He had already taken part in several low-level attacks on enemy airfields with no fighter escort, and despite knowing that his final raid would be courting almost certain disaster without one, he still went on the mission. His squadron reached the target without being attacked, but after their raid they were met by an overwhelming force of enemy fighters. One by one his aircraft were shot down until only he remained flying, but despite fighting back he too was shot down. His actions in showing valour and devotion to duty earned him the Victoria Cross. Number 3. Kenneth Campbell Ayrshire-born Campbell had earned a chemistry degree at Cambridge before being called up to the Royal Air Force in 1939. In 1941, he was posthumously awarded the VC for his part in the attack on the German battleship Niesena for flying his aircraft through concentrated anti-aircraft fire before launching his torpedo. His attack managed to successfully damage the battlecruiser below the waterline, forcing it back into the dock it had only left the previous day. Campbell's aircraft crashed into the harbour with the loss of all on board, and his valour was only recognised when details of his bravery were passed to London by the French resistance. Number 4. Tom Hunter Although born in England, Tom Hunter was brought up in Edinburgh from a very early age, being educated in Edinburgh before becoming an apprentice stationer in the city. He served in the Home Guard in Edinburgh before his call-up when he soon joined the commandos. Hunter lost his life in northern Italy after leading a charge on houses where three enemy machine guns were lodged. His charge was so determined that six of the enemy surrendered and the rest fled. He continued to fire on the enemy, drawing fire until most of his troop had reached cover, despite this costing him his own life. Number 5. William Reed Born in Bayliston, Glasgow, Reed studied metallurgy before joining the Royal Air Force. He was flying a Lancaster bomber on a raid on Dusseldorf when it was attacked by an enemy fighter. With the navigator killed, and himself and one other man wounded, Reed continued to fly his badly damaged plane, successfully dropping his bombs. Despite his wounds and suffering from loss of blood, he managed to return home, saving all but two of the crew. He recovered from his wounds, joining the famous Dam Busters of 617 Squadron, before having to bail out after another raid in July 1944, becoming a prisoner for the remainder of the war. Number 6. Donald Cameron Cameron is one of three men from the town of Curluck in Lanarkshire to be awarded the VC, but the only one from the Second World War. He commanded a midget submarine which successfully damaged the battleship Turpits. To do so, he had to travel a thousand miles from his base in northwest Scotland, successfully navigate a minefield and evade nets, gun defences and enemy listening posts. He had been a seaman since the age of 17 when he joined the Merchant Navy, but he was to die in 1961 at the relatively young age of only 45. Number 7. John Hanna John Hanna from Paisley was only 18 when he won the VC for his actions in fighting the fire on board the Handley Page Hamden bomber on which he was wireless operator and air gunner. Despite the fact he could have bailed out, he remained on board, fighting the fire with fire extinguishers, beating it with logbooks, and finally using his bare hands. The youngest VC of the Second World War, he sadly contracted tuberculosis the year following his VC act and his health finally gave out in 1947 when he died aged only 25. Number 8. James Stokes James Stokes, a Glaswegian serving with the King's Shropshire Light Infantry, was leading a section of a platoon in March 1945 in Germany when it became pinned down. Stokes dashed through the heavy enemy machine gun fire into the building held by German troops. The firing ceased and Stokes reappeared wounded but with 12 prisoners. His platoon continued to their next objective only to come under fire again. Stokes rushed forward again and again the firing ceased and there were a further 5 prisoners. Now severely wounded, Stokes continued, rushing again to the next objective where he finally fell. Despite his loss, his actions had saved the lives of many of his comrades. Number 9. Patrick Anthony Porteous 
Patrick Porteous was a major attached to No. 4 Commando during the Dieppe raid. In the initial assault, he was shot through the hand, the bullet passing through his palm and entering his upper arm. The German who shot him obviously thought that job was done and turned his attention to a British sergeant, but Porteous was not finished. He disarmed the German and killed him with his own bayonet. He then took charge of two detachments which had lost all their officers and while leading a charge he was shot through the thigh but he continued to the final objective where he collapsed from loss of blood. He lived to serve a distinguished career and was in the leading car at the Queen Mother's 100th birthday parade shortly before his death at the age of 82. Number 10. George Thompson Born in Trinity Gask in Perthshire, George Thompson was the wireless operator aboard a Lancaster bomber hit by flak and set on fire after a bombing raid on the Dortmund Ems Canal. Thompson helped other members of the air crew to get to safety before putting the fire out, partly using his bare hands. He was recovering from his injuries in hospital when he sadly contracted pneumonia, dying at the age of only 24. So that's our 10 Scottish VC winners of the Second World War. What did you think of our list? Did we miss anyone you think worthy of mention? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.